The first alert forecast with meteorologist Chelsea Aaron. I love them. They're doing great work. They're I so young and so well spoken. I know. When eloquent. I was, yeah, when I was a freshman or sophomore in high school, there's no way I would have done a live <laughs> TV interview. And especially yeah. about mental health, mm -hmm. everyone take care of yourself. Sure. Uh, make sure that you are a okay. Hey, we're going to try to keep you a okay weather wise. I know we had some strong storms last night this morning. We likely will see some more strong storms later this evening overnight into Tuesday morning, but no severe weather is likely and these are going to be your typical summertime pulsing storms. So a lot of lightning, heavy rain at times, gusty winds, even some hail like the microburst storms, but we are not expecting any kind of tornadoes anytime soon here in the Tennessee Valley. Live look at the shoals. This is our new camera on our fly breeze camera network here in Florence. There's the Wilson Dam Bridge, very gloomy and cloudy with some of that earlier rain, but despite the cloud cover temperatures still very warm. Now areas that stay drier, Coleman, Albertville to the south, they're sitting a bit warmer, mid upper 70s, close to near 80 degrees areas to the north Pulaski Leoma. They're a bit cooler, low and mid 70s, but most of us once we see the sunshine pop later this afternoon, early evening, we're going to get close to the mid 80s again. Just a few isolated showers popping up right along I 65 and our southern middle Tennessee counties. Also limestone Madison County, but most of us looking dry for the most part, but we do have our next weather maker. The series of we call them MCS is essentially mesoscale convective systems just a fancy word for a cluster of storms and boy are they hard to forecast for one of my friends who's a meteorologist in Memphis, he posted a tweet last night and he said, hey, it's MCS season. Make sure you buy your local meteorologist a drink. We all could use one. We will be tracking some isolated two widely scattered showers and storms as we head throughout the rest of your afternoon and into your evening hours. Afternoon highs low in mid 80s, some places only in the upper 70s, but again, mostly dry as we head throughout your day part. It's not until late this evening, mainly after 10 o'clock, kind of going to be like we saw last night this morning morning that we're going to be tracking more widespread showers and storms and some of those stronger storms. This will be essentially from an outflow boundary from those mesoscale convective systems to our north. Again, lightning at times, heavy rain, gusty winds, also some pea sized hail will be coming through and it could affect that early morning commute again tomorrow, but it looks like we're going to be drying out by the mid to late morning hours and staying relatively dry. Afternoon highs tomorrow soaring back into the mid 80s, some places even upper 80s with more scattered showers and storms as we head into the afternoon. Also the evening hours, all of these scattered showers and storms mainly going to be heat driven. I will say Wednesday looks like our driest day of the work week with more scattered showers and storms to round out your week on Thursday and Friday. Right now your weekend trending towards some storms on Saturday, but I will say things starting to look a bit drier, especially as we head into your Mother's Day on Sunday, which is now just less than a week week away. So forecast looking OK. Temperatures will stay rather warm, upper 70s, low and mid 80s as we head throughout your extended forecast. All right, Chelsea, thank you. The current